Hello, I'm Gary Briggs of Bloodline Bowfishing, and in this video, I intend on finding out if painting the reflectors of your high-pressure sodium lights will result in more light being emitted from the housing itself. Uh, what I have here is the 150 watt high-pressure sodium light that I purchased for the LED light test. Um, I'll run two tests, one at 3 foot, one at 10 foot with the Lux meter. I'll then remove the reflector, and I'll paint it flat white, reinstall the reflector, and run those same two tests again, 3 foot and 10 foot. And we can then compare those numbers and quantify if more light is actually leaving the housing after you've painted them flat white. If you are smart enough to be able to install these on your boat, you probably don't need any instructions on how to paint your reflectors, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, remove the bulb. Remove this screw that holds in the ceramic, uh, whatever it's called, that the bulb screws into. And then you'll find a handful of screws in the reflector. Pull those screws out, remove the reflector, paint it flat white, reinstall the reflector, put the screws back in, uh, reinstall the little ceramic part, put the screw in there, screw your bolt back in, and there you have it. Nothing to it. Okay, so we have our camera set up, aimed at the uh, Lux meter. We have the 150 watt high pressure sodium. Clearly can see that the reflector has not been painted yet. And we have our Lux meter. Okay, the, light, the light has finished warming up and you'll notice the meter says 229 X10. Now 230 X10. So that's 230 times 10. So we have a Lux reading of 2300 at three feet. That is 2300 at three feet. Let's move the meter back to 10 feet. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and at a distance of 10 feet we are getting 211 lux. That's 211 lux. Okay, as you can see the light now has a painted reflector. Um, the light is back in the exact same position and I have not moved the uh, Lux meter from the spot it was at the 10 foot uh, location. So I will let this warm up and then get a reading. Okay, after painting the reflector and letting the white light fully warm up, we now get a reading of 217, 218 Lux. Our previous reading was 211. 1% uh, of 211 is 2.1, and we have a difference of 7 lux. So uh, 6 lux, 7 lux. So quick math would show us that after painting the reflector, we get a 3% improvement. Underwhelming. I'm going to move the lux meter to 3 feet and take another reading. Okay. After carefully repositioning the Lux meter back to 3 feet, I am getting a reading of 231x10, which is 2310 Lux. 2310 Lux. This subject was a hotly contested debate on bow fishing country a few years back, uh, but the numbers show that at best it's relatively insignificant. We're only talking a few percentile here. And if I'm being honest, I fell victim to this hype. I have eight high-pressure sodium lights with painted reflectors. Um, maybe if you have a goofy housing with a goofy reflector, perhaps it might smooth out some lines uh, that you might experience on the water. But um, don't expect huge gains by painting. Do me a favor, guys, and let's visit www.bloodlinebowfishing.com. We're just getting the site up and running. There's going to be a lot more to come in the future. Also, let's join the BAA. They protect our rights as bow fishermen. And as always, please, please wear your personal flotation devices while you're on the water. Thanks, guys.